Hi, my name is Casey and welcome to my channel, where apparently I'm the only girl in the entire world who can feel when mosquitoes bite them. I saw the new Little Mermaid movie and um, it was fine. It wasn't bad, which is kind of the bar that we've set for these live action Disney remakes, uh, but it wasn't, it wasn't bad. But this video isn't about that movie. You ever have that piece of media, like when you're a child, you see an outfit in it and you're like, yes, I only want to wear that outfit for the rest of my life. And of course you're a child, so you don't have a job or money, so you can't buy it unless your parents are rich. For me, this dress was the dress that Ariel wears at the end of The Little Mermaid. That like silver, blue, purple dress that she wears right before she gets married. If you want to know what my issue is and why I always have to make dresses that are worn for like three seconds in a movie, I don't know. Take it up with my therapist, ask them. Just to address the controversy right now, that dress is blue. I've got the science to back it up. I've crunched the numbers. I took the abacus and I moved the little things. I know some people think that it's purple, uh, but it's not. If you have any questions, comments, and concerns about my stance on this matter, I advise you to write it in your diary. Anyway, I hope you like this video. Maybe you'll even see me jump into a lake and or river or stream or ocean wearing it. I don't know. I haven't done that yet, so the future holds many possibilities. I started this video with research by watching the original and then Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea, but I did so in French to be educated. There is no way you can look at me through that screen and tell me that that is not blue. Oh man, look at this. Look what just arrived. But also, I didn't realize until this exact moment when I just went to show these falling on the floor that this was on the floor. That could have gone poorly. Maybe kind of hard to tell, but this fabric is actually also see-through. So I think it might need another fabric to go under it. But first I went to the gym because I need to work out and be the world's strongest woman. I picked out this light blue stretchy knit fabric to go underneath the dress. I cut out two long rectangles and draped it on Kathy. Then I also draped the sequin fabric over it. This is to start getting the cowl neck going and to get a feel for the shape. You can leave it like this for a day so that the fabric can start to settle. I personally left it for two weeks because um, I had other things to do. Here's a segment I like to call justifying why it's blue. This whole color debate, here is a screenshot. Using the eye drop, tell me where on this little thing it falls, all right? Even if I like move it around, it's staying. Now I hear you saying, okay, well, what about this part, huh? Right here, this like part where there's uh, shadows behind her. So obviously it's purple. Here we are, we're in Photoshop. We got our little handy dandy tool. Hmm, that's still blue. That's still, squ that's squarely in the blue region. Purple is up here, purple up there. But I mean, okay, I hear you, right? It's like maybe kind of like these sort of dark areas, AKA like shadowing. That's really the closest we even get to kind of purple. See, this is the closest I got and still technically blue. I've, I've got science on my side. That's, that's blue. Welcome to every single piece of expired makeup that I own. How expired is it really? Where I put it on my lips and I see if it hurts and if I still like it. I don't know if you can tell what I was trying on a whole bunch more before this. And um, it was hurting me. It was hurting me really badly. I already know I'm keeping this. I used to literally wear this lipstick all the time. Every day. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Could look horrible on me. And yes, they do all look the same because I like the same color. You have a problem with how I apply lipstick? So do I. Elfin wine was also a big go-to of mine for that color. Yeah, it's fine. It can stay. It didn't do anything wrong other than it be applied to my lips. I like this, but it's burning my lips. So this is definitely expired. I've had that for like, honestly, who knows how long. Probably since like high school. I was like extremely into makeup, if you can't tell. And this was back when everyone wore like gray lipstick. I was like, I don't care. I like it. I'm keeping it. I'm going to single-handedly bring back liquid lipstick. And by that, I mean we are not bringing back liquid lipstick ever. One, because I literally cannot do my lips evenly. And two, because I hate them. I wear this one to pretend I was born without lips. Lips? Me? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What excuse do I have to keep all these? They all look exactly the same. This is a lip stain. I literally don't even remember owning this. Present it goes. I think I really just bought this one because it's called Luffy. This looks horrendous on me. In case you're wondering why I'm not like donating old expired lipstick. I mean, it's hard to give away used lip products. Prison. Cash cans, the prison. Doesn't even have a sticker on it. Who knows what color this is? It'll pouty. These ones are definitely like, like not good anymore. I don't feel like this red is doing me any favors. I like that it smells minty. Half of these brands have been canceled by now, but that just tells you like how long I've had some of these. So I stopped what I was doing to fix this bag for David. 
Uh, he really likes it for travel and we haven't been able to find another. And I kept saying I was going to do it and we were about to leave for a wedding in Colombia, so I really had to kind of, you know, get around to it. We did have to sleep on the floor of the Panama City Airport because of silly reasons, but on the plus side, we got to see this bird. And we saw monkeys. Now pictured here are the iguanas and the sloths that we also saw, so that was pretty cool. Overall, I'd say it was a great trip for a great couple, and I think everyone enjoyed themselves. We enjoyed the rest of our trip, but then as we were heading back, we almost got stuck in the Panama airport again. This is like the entire wedding party, people's parents. Our airline experience was completely nuts. That's just its own story. But on the plus side, I did finally finish watching Manifest. Then I needed another distractor, so I took this maxi dress that I've had since high school and decided to turn it into a two-piece set. Mostly because it really doesn't fit anymore, so I kind of need to cut it to be able to get in and out. The first thing I did was I chopped it in two. Then I intended on making the bottom section some pants. Okay, so I'm using this pair of pants to just kind of like model what I want it to be. One, because I like the fit of these pants, but also two, because I really need to hem them. As you see, last time I went out, I destroyed the bottom of these pants. And um, I hope that if they're in the sewing room, I will hem them like this year. I did eventually abandon this idea because um, it didn't fit when it was a dress and it still didn't fit as pants because there's just not enough fabric there to cover my adult body. So I did sew it into pant legs and then I unsewed it and turned it back into a skirt. So there was a lot of unnecessary action in this whole thing. I made it shorter, I added the pattern on the back, and then I added a slit on the side. The last thing that I needed was elastic for the waistband, so David and I grabbed that while we were preparing for our annual camping trip. Okay, so I let this sit for like two weeks, which I didn't really do for any particular reason. I just got lazy and left it. Um, so I'm gonna try and, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna attach the front and the lining to each other. So step one is to make sure they are actually the same size, cut them like this, and then sew them with their right sides facing. Uh, don't sew it with right side to wrong side like I did in that first clip because then you have to undo it and then sew it again. Okay, I decided where the shoulders are gonna go and then I'm just gonna attach it at the shoulders and we'll figure out the actual body shape later. Also, I'm watching Suits. That's what that sound is. Then I just kind of went wild and sewed it around the shoulders. Also, I set up a mirror so I could look at myself when I do this. What makes it difficult to try and pin and try on and then adjust a dress where there's a lot of sequins is that if you turn it inside out, the sequins kind of get caught on you and it hurts and it's very uncomfortable. What you're going to do is turn it inside out, just pin it to be vaguely body shaped, and then just sew it. Uh, there's This dress is basically a formless sack. Once I sewed it to be sort of dress shaped, I removed the excess fabric and I made some adjustments so that the shoulders fit a little better and also hemmed the slit on the side. And I was done. After probably a thousand and one adjustments, the front is like done. Um, actually no, the back's fine. I think we're gonna leave it long cause like in the movie, she's like in the water. No one's here. I guess I just have to like exist with this finish with, without anyone to look at me and go, Nice. Um, so maybe I'll go eat a sandwich. Well, time to clean up because this stuff is everywhere. One of the neighbor cats came to visit. That was pretty nice. So I did actually finish that two piece, by the way. I cut off any extra fabric. Then I stitched a channel for some elastic to go through for the waistband. And here we are. I actually finished it. Wow. I'm actually really happy with how this came out. I might dye it so that it's not pink and blue and just blue, but we'll see. Let me know if you think it would be better if it was all just like monochrome. Surprised you don't have like a catchphrase that you're just repeating over and over again. Arf, arf, arf. It's like, I'm Ariel and these are my legs. I'm Ariel and these are my legs. No feet for free. Influencer falls and dies on cliff. I think it'll be fine. Oh God, people. Mm -hmm. You would think that at some point I wouldn't feel so embarrassed just to like being like this out in public, but I'm actually extremely embarrassed all the time. So checkmate brain. Don't you buy fell off the cliff? That'd be crazy. Big bug bite. I'm afraid I'm gonna fall down here and die. You could go down there with those people. No, they're braver than I am. People are wearing normal clothes. That's true. No shame. No shame. Oh, my finger was in the- Are you blocking it with your finger? 
I would love to find down there and be in the ocean. Down there? Yeah. No, I don't want to be there anymore. I want to be somewhere where they don't reprimand their daughters. <laughs> right, young women? Sick of, I'm sick of swimming. Me? I, I'm sick of swimming. I'm ready to stand home right there. I'm ready to know what the people know. What's the scuttlebutt? Hey. Hey. What are you guys up to? A dingle hopper. Hello, everybody. Don't you know I'm Little Mermaid? You wanna play mermaid? You wanna play mermaid? I'm returning to the ocean. Return to the sea. Welcome to Little Mermaid 2, Return to the Ocean. Which I don't get the logic of that movie. This dress passes the swim test. You can swim in it. You can't even tell, honestly. I bet this water doesn't look very appetizing. It feels really good, though. It's pretty hot out. Welcome to the beach. What should I give to live where you are? Welcome to the beach. What should I pay to stay here? Flounder! Anyone else? <laughs> Sebastian! The water's fine. Come on in. What's really funny right now is to be shaking his head no behind the camera. He's like, I know what you think of me. <laughs> well, he's in the water too, but he's in his Tivas. This isn't an ad for Tivas, but we like Tivas. Thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you liked it. Tune in next time to watch a different video by me. Ooh, I'm kind of itchy now. I wonder if I have a disease. <laughs>